What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so this is a trend that I've been seeing on a lot of Instagram pages lately and everyone's been doing it and I think the original like ideas derange from these accounts. Let me just show them real quick to you because I want to give credit to where it's due. So I feel like a lot of effects uh, like these come from uh, the trend of black market. They've been releasing two packages called Copy Scan and Extra Grade, and these effects are easily done with those presets. So I highly recommend you check them out and yeah, see if you want to buy something. Um, then there's uh, Edvina Schreika. I hope I pronounced your name right. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, he's been doing this effect for a while as well. Uh, very cool variations, some grainy gradients, I guess. Uh, and then there's also Albi and Jabari, a uh, design duo or studio. Um, and they do some really sick work as well. And yeah, I've been seeing this uh, effect on their page as well. So I think these are the main three accounts where at least I found this trend from. And then I saw a lot of people like started doing it and wanted to do it and wanted to learn how to do it. So I thought, let's just make a video on it. All right, so this is what we came up with. Um, just. Uh, up front, I used Copy Scan by Black Market. I'll put a link up in the description. Uh, there's also a free alternative uh, from Texture Fabric, and I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, but I find that this effect works better with the Black Market textures. Uh, so, the way we're gonna start here, I found this photo on Unsplash. Uh, credit goes to Laura Charette. I hope I pronounced your name correctly as well. <laughs> uh, and I'll put a link up in the description as well. Uh, so, we're just gonna copy this because. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the size here. Uh, we're gonna make a new document from the clipboard here. Obviously, if you need this for whatever, like some print work or an artwork or whatever, you should go with a higher resolution, but I'm just gonna go with the original resolution from the web image here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to select the mask and we're gonna mask our model out. And the easy way to do that is by clicking select subject and refine the hair. And as you can see, there's a little part here that should also be selected. So I'm just gonna do that right manually. And the thing is, you don't have to be super thorough for this, um, but I do want a part of her head in there as well. Um, so I wanna get the shift edge a little bit to the inside, uh, just, to, just to make sure that we selected everything. And I wanna up the contrast so the lines will be a little bit sharper. And then we'll feather that as well maybe smooth it up a little bit and we'll click okay and basically now we have masked out our model quite quickly um yeah you'll find with the settings that i just used there might be like some overlap with the hair but it doesn't really matter in this case because we're going to go and put a lot of effects on this what we want to do first is we're going to make it black and white so we're going to add a U saturation and put the saturation all the way to minus 100 which makes our image black and white so we want to reduce all of the colors in this image to a few gray values, but not just to black and white. And I'll try to explain why. Uh, so with the posterize effect, as I up the levels to, I think about like, maybe like 10. Uh, let's zoom in here. You'll see like a lot of different colors here, uh, but they're also, they're also like in a few gray values. Um, if we remove the effect, you'll see that there's a lot more colors going on and we want to have uh, less. Uh, so what you can also do is go with a threshold, but this will only give you black and white values and it gives you a little bit less freedom than with the posterize effect. So if you want to have like less colors, maybe we'll go with like four in this case. Uh, you'll still have a little bit more gray values than with the threshold, obviously. And what we're gonna do now is gonna group this. We'll call it model and we will convert this to a smart object. Now, the next thing you wanna do is we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. This really depends on the size of your image and uh, the detail of your model that you wanna preserve. I don't really care about a lot of detail at the moment. So yeah, let's go with around 2.9 and we're gonna make a black background. And on the model, we're gonna go to adjustments and we're gonna click on a gradient map. And we're gonna clip the gradient map to our model here. Now in the gradient map, we're gonna play with, around with some colors. Uh, if you don't have time to do this, I highly recommend you go and check out ExoGrade, which is a gradient map package by Black Market. A shout out to them. I'll put a link up in the description as well. We're just gonna make uh, one of our own. Um, so if you don't know how a gradient map works, it's basically 
Uh, this represents all of the darker values in the image, and this represents all of the lighter values in the image. Uh, so this makes it black and white basically, but if we go and put this to red, the lightest parts of the image will turn red. And basically, as you can see, there will be like some transition in between that because we blurred it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to give this like a red, like a futuristic uh, approach. Uh, so we're going to go with a dark blue, something like that. And we're going more towards a green now. And we'll make that a little bit lighter. And we'll end up with a neon green, something like this. And I'm not really sure about this blue. Maybe we'll saturate a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, you get kind of like a heat map effect as well. So if this is something that you want to go for, uh, this will also probably be the tutorial for you. Um, let's see if what happens if we go a little bit more towards cyan, a little bit too light. Let's go with like a blue purple-ish. Yeah, this is pretty cool as well. And basically now we're going to go with some textures. Uh, let's group our model first. So we have the model here because I want to texture that a little bit separately. See if we can uh, do a little bit more to that because let's drag in this black uh, texture. And if we put the image to lighten, you'll see that the background is already like pretty nice, but the model itself could use a little bit more like uh, these like imperfections of the textures here. So let's go with number two, maybe. And we'll clip that right onto our model. And we'll put the blend mode to maybe add. Yeah, okay. We'll put it to screen. Um, so if you want to have this printed effect, there might be a little bit too saturated, as you can see, because this is not made on a screen and it's not printed out. So if you feel like you want to make it a little bit more realistic, uh, you might want to desaturate it a little bit like this. Um, I want to do it a little bit more specific and I want to only desaturate the greens, I think. Because I feel like the blue is already pretty desaturated. Yeah, like this. All right, so um, now we're here. We basically done this and it looks pretty cool, right? Uh, so if you want to go one step further uh, to make this like a little bit more crazy, you want to get more uh, colors in here. Uh, what I like to do is we can go with a curse. And we're going to make like this weird little like ring shape. And as you can see, uh, I'll turn off the gradient map. I'll try to explain it as best as I can. Basically what's happening is the dark values are going all the way to white around the middle here. And that's what you can see here. But then it goes back to dark again. So all the midtones here will all be as dark as the darkest part. So basically you'll get a double gradient map if that makes sense to you. Um, so this is, just, this is basically doing the same thing as grabbing this gradient map, putting all of this like to the side here and then Clicking on this and do it like that once more. But now we actually do it four times. As we're doing it with the gradient map right now, as well as the curves. Uh, and this will also get some pretty interesting results, uh, but it gets a little bit like, uh, yeah, you lose a little bit of the quality as you can see here. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna go with that. Um, and now we can perhaps increase the blur radius a little bit. And this will give the gradient map a little more room to make more interesting transitions and make them go a little bit more smoothly. So anyway guys, uh, this is basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join us on Discord. And I just want to give a quick little shout out to all of my patrons uh, because thanks to my patrons, I'm able to make more videos for you guys, make more content. Uh, and if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of my project files from all of my tutorials, including this one. Uh, so if this is something you're interested in, there's a link in the description. And besides that, if you become a patron, you'll also get a 15% discount in the Dreadlabs web store, which contains a lot of assets, as well as an exclusive Discord role and an exclusive channel there. So basically, there are a lot of perks coming with becoming a patron. Uh, I highly suggest you check it out, uh, especially if you're interested in getting my project files. So with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. This is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. See you in the next video.